The XRP weekly chart looks just stunning. At some point, the price went up to 78 cents and at the peak rose 192 percent. And then it was something incredible. It skyrocketed 4900 percent. That's right, exactly 4900 percent. I'm counting on this trend to continue and hoping to see Bitcoin market share growing again, whereas altcoins are gonna take a break or even drop. Welcome to the coin post. Today, the whole video is dedicated to XRP. And if you're up for it, give us a thumbs up right now. I'm gonna share with you the reasons for the 130% pump in the last week. We're gonna discuss whether it will continue and if we can expect XRP at $1 each by the end of the year. I'm gonna tell you why this growth is premature and how it scared me. And of course, there will be conspiracy theories like financial reboot and so on. Check if you're subscribed to our channel and check the balance of your XRP wallet. Let's start. The XRP weekly chart looks just stunning. At some point, the price went up to 78 cents and at the peak rose 192%. The main reason for this price move was allegedly the Spark token airdrop, which requires having XRP tokens as of December 12th. New tokens are accounting units in the Flare Network's blockchain. Their goal is to integrate smart contracts into the XRP ecosystem, which also opens the way for today's popular hype like DeFi. To make it possible, they will use the Ethereum virtual machine. The AirPod will take place in early 2021. One XRP token will be equal to one Spark. The snapshot of the XRP ledger will be taken on December 12th, meaning that only those who owned XRP at the time of the snapshot will get new tokens. To take part, it's necessary not just to have XRP, but keep them on the platforms that support the airdrop. You can see the list on the screen now, so if you want you can pause the video and copy them. In addition, the leading platform Binance announced they support Spark too. Mind that if the Spark airdrop was the cause of what happened, then after the 12th we can expect a big XRP correction. And it's a normal market response in such a situation. It's also possible that we have reached the peak already. And we'll start dropping today because traders are gonna fix the profit. I mean, the idea of Flare Networks is fascinating, but in fact, DeFi only succeeded with Ethereum and it's unlikely that launching their network will have any impact on the XRP use. Besides, the Spark token estimate is 1 cent. That is, buying XRP for 70 cents to get a 1 cent profit is a dubious pleasure. Just like it was doubtful at the time when XRP was 26 cents before it started rising. So if you ask me, the reason for XRP's rise was somewhat different and it was the traders who were behind it. As I see it, the real reason behind the XRP pump was the altcoin season. Or to be precise, the altcoin mini season. I'm gonna explain it right now. So why am I talking about the altcoin mini season? My understanding is, the real season was in late December 2017 and early January 2018 when most of the altcoins hit their current highs and the XRP price rose almost $4. What's happening today is only a preparatory stage. We've recently made a video where I theorized that Bitcoin is at the stage of the cycle when it's getting ready to hit a new all-time high. If you haven't seen this episode, check it out right now by clicking the link you see on the screen or in the description box. It might help you understand what we're gonna talk about next. Back then, altcoins didn't even think of growing and XRP was cheap and the altcoin prices started rising only in March 2017. And then it was something incredible. It skyrocketed 4900%. That's right, exactly 4900%. But in that distant 2016, there were fewer people in the crypto world and they didn't really believe that Bitcoin could break through a thousand dollar threshold. Today, there is a lot more information about the Bitcoin growth cycles and how altcoins behave. So I'm not ruling out that seeing Bitcoin is ready to shoot and hit an all-time high at $20,000, a lot of people thought it was high time to buy altcoins, hoping for a higher price. 
Stellar also rose 100%, although it doesn't have any airdrop. And such a huge demand for XRP is explained by the fact it has a company called Ripple, which is widely regarded as the driver of future growth. The price is extremely attractive to buy, and it's still less than $1 and the coin is in the top cryptocurrencies by market capitalization. For many, those are really strong arguments. You should also not forget to count the various conspiracy theories around Ripple and XRP, which we're gonna discuss further in our forecast. Predictions are a thankless job, so I want to say this once. It's not in any way a financial recommendation. And if you agree with my view of the situation and find this video useful, then you can show your support and subscribe to the channel right now if you didn't do it earlier. So let's start with these various conspiracy theories saying XRP will become the new global currency. Or it's been interpreted that XRP would replace SWIFT and perform its function when all the countries of the world switch to national digital currencies. The idea behind all these theories is, as they say, read between the lines and see the hidden agenda. I'm just wondering, why do the people who invented all these theories, which woke up after the XRP price rose again, think there is a hidden agenda? Why not look at things the way they are? What's the point of G20 countries using XRP if they can run a similar network easily? Moreover, Ripple's chief technical officer, David Schwartz, once let it slip that the liquidity technology could work on demand without XRP. That is, the Fed could conditionally release a digital dollar and it would continue to serve as the global reserve currency in an updated system of international settlements. And XRP would remain a token that Ripple continues to sell out of its inexhaustible supply. How do you like this alternative conspiracy theory? I guess I'm gonna see it by the number of your likes. Now back to the price. I said at the beginning of the video that the rapid XRP rise really frightened me because the Bitcoin share began to decline sharply. This could be an indirect sign that I was wrong in my analysis of the Bitcoin cycle and the market is still close to its peak. So now you're gonna see the last one of the altcoin booms and then we're gonna get back to a long recession. However, just yesterday, Bitcoin hit $19,000. I'm counting on this trend to continue and hoping to see Bitcoin market share growing again, whereas altcoins are gonna take a break or even drop. It would be best for everyone that Bitcoin confirms the transition to the next stage of growth followed by altcoins. If the success of Bitcoin is significant, for example, $20,000 or more, then according to XRP, we can quite easily see the price of $1 in December. Conversely, if my concerns about the peak cycle prove right, which I hardly believe, then expect XRP to collapse as quickly as it did rise. The other altcoins will do the same. Leave your comments with your XRP predictions and share this video with those who are into cryptocurrency too. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. It's the CoinPost channel. Subscribe and get enlightened.